guys, so I'm here today to film my January favorites for you. I have actually a lot of favorites this month and most of them are makeup and skincare related, so yeah. I've been using a lot of different stuff this year. It's like all different from what was in my Best of Beauty 2013, so 2014 is a whole new year using all new stuff. My number one favorite product ever since Christmas is my Paul Mitchell Neuro Unclipped Hair uh, curling iron, I guess it's called. This is a, a conical one. It's 1.25 inches at the base and 0.75 inches at the tip, and I absolutely adore it. Um, my hair today was done with it, but this is like day four hair. I don't want to talk about how disgusting that is. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow morning, so my hairdresser is going to wash it anyways, so I ain't got time for that. So yeah, this is day four hair. But I mean, day four curls, this looks pretty sweet. And like even, and this morning I brushed all the curls out on purpose so it would just look kind of loose and wavy and with body and I absolutely love it. Ever since I cut my hair short, I've been straightening it or curling it and like honestly my hair will last, I won't have to wash it for four days and it still looks pretty freaking decent because my hair is so dry. So yeah, dry shampoo is my best friend and I absolutely adore this curling iron. The Paul Mitchell Neuro line is fantastic, it's super hot. I still have a burn on my hand from when I burnt myself on New Year's Eve, but I absolutely adore it. I love this curling iron. I need to get a new hair straightener sometime soon, and I'm really thinking about getting the Neuro one because I just think these are phenomenal products. So yeah, I love this. <coughs> um, so I have two body care things that are my favorites. My first is my Soap and Glory Flake Away. This is a body scrub, and I absolutely adore it. It's like this weird yellow color, um, and it's like a really, I would call it a really abrasive scrub. Like, it leaves my, I have very sensitive skin, so it leaves my skin looking a little bit red after I use it, but it makes my skin so smooth. I have like that chicken skin thing on the back of my arms where they're like, a, they have those bumps on it, and this has really helped. It makes my skin feel super soft after I exfoliate. I've really been loving this a lot. And it's not that expensive, and I honestly, I thought that I was going to have to use a lot of it and it wouldn't work very well, but because it's so abrasive, I really like it. And you kind of have to, eh. I just think this is a really great scrub, and I am loving it. And then to kind of go with that, I've been in love with this L'Occitane Supple Skin Oil. This is an almond one. Yeah, with almond oil in it. This is just the sample. I got it in the in the oil kit I got from Sephora, which I just got like mid-month. I've only used this three times, but I've used half of the bottle. And like, when I think about it, like six uses for like a sample is pretty decent. And this has left my skin feeling so soft. Like I had a shower last night. I obviously didn't wash my hair. And um, exfoliated and I put this on and this morning. I was like feeling my skin and I was like, my skin feels so soft everywhere. I just love it. So yeah. I totally love this. Once I'm done the other body oils in the kit, I might look into repurchasing this in a full size because I really do like it, but it's probably going to be really expensive. So there's that. Um, and then I have two face favorites this month. I don't know what happened, but my skin broke out like crazy lately. So I picked up the La Roche-Posay Affesler Duo. I think that's what it's called. It's just this double action acne treatment, and I've been applying this every day. I applied it all over my forehead and on my chin and in my t-zone and like honestly if a spot is coming and I can see it, like I had one coming right here under my eye which would be the worst spot for a pimple. I popped this on two nights in a, at night and in the morning and literally the pimple never came to the surface. It just disappeared. It was fantastic. I have, I had a bunch of acne all over my chin and I've been applying this and it's just honestly like after two applications of this, it works wonders. I apply it at night after I apply my moisturizer, and I apply it in the morning after I apply my moisturizer when I'm really breaking out, and it's honestly amazing. Right now I have one little pimple, but like, I'm hormonal right now, so I'll allow it, but yeah. This stuff is fantastic, and you need the smallest amount. It spreads so thinly, so it, you literally just need a little amount, and it dries really quickly, so you can put your makeup on right after. And I have really dry skin, and this has not dried out my skin at all, which is fantastic. This one has salicylic acid in it, which is the regular kind of deal. And then to go along with the fact that I have dry skin, I've been really loving my Embryolisse moisturizer. I use this every morning um, as a moisturizer, and like when I first got it, I didn't think it was that great, but 
the more I use it, the more I like it. I kind of hate the packaging because it's like this hard kind of metal packaging, so I'm afraid that it's going to crack in all the weird spots where it's creased, but I think it's a great, really nice moisturizer that I'll probably repurchase next year at iMats. I think it's a good winter moisturizer. I probably wouldn't need something this heavy for the summer, but this too will last me the six months that winter lasts here in Canada, so that's perfect. For face this month, I've been obsessed with my NARS Sheer Glow. I absolutely adore this foundation. It's like my all-time favorite foundation. It's one of my Holy Grail foundations for sure. Um, I just love the finish. I love the coverage. I think it's the perfect medium coverage foundation. It makes me look so glowy. It lasts all day. It's just fantastic. I just can't say enough. And then the concealer I've been using this month is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, which I also have been obsessed with. Um, I only have this much left in the bottle, which is sad to me, but I will totally repurchase this. It's such a nice high coverage foundation, I mean concealer. It covers my bags and does my blemishes really well. I just adore this. Oh, it's so good. And I'm pretty sure MAC concealers are only like 20 bucks, which makes them even better because they're so affordable. I just have been obsessed with this lately. I've really been into neutral blush. I've just been lazy in the mornings and I don't want to have to pick something based on what my outfit is or my makeup is. So I've just been like neutral blush all the way. Um, I love Max Tenderling. It is just a beautiful kind of brownie pink blush that really helps to warm up my complexion. It's just a gorgeous color. I love wearing this. And I've also fallen back in love with my MAC Camerlay Skin Finish in Blonde. This is beautiful. It has a little bit of a pink iridescence to it. It's kind of almost like a rose gold color once you swatch it. It's just beautiful on the cheeks. It really warms up my cheeks. It makes me look alive and it has some shimmer in into it. And it is just, I love it. For eyeshadow this month, I've been loving my MAC Morning Frost uh cream shadow paint pot I guess it's just this beautiful like silvery taupe color it's very shimmery that's what it looks like there if you can see it's just very shimmery it's just so beautiful most mornings I don't have time to do anything so I just pop this all over my lid blend it into my crease and that's all I do and that's just fantastic now with that when I want to do something a little bit extra I will put max sketch into the crease which just looks looks like that when you swatch it which looks terrifying but once you kind of blend it out it's like this brownie it's basically a rat of red toned deep brown color it just looks so beautiful in the crease with morning frost i absolutely adore it i just think it's a beautiful eyeshadow when i first got this i thought it would be more burgundy than brown and it kind of shows up brown on me i guess most times but i love it now love it and then the other eyeshadow favorite of the month has been my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Now, I really want to buy the Naked 3 palette, but I never reach for my Naked 2 palette. So I basically told myself that to justify buying the Naked 3 palette, which I'm going to do, it just keeps being sold out, I have to make myself use the Naked 2 palette. So I have been using this a lot. I actually wore tees all over the lid one day, which looked beautiful. And I like just wearing Booty Call with like Suspect or YDK in the crease. Just like... I just think that the colors in this palette are were poorly picked. Like there's so many medium shades that it's hard to make an eye look because when I blend YDK and Pistol and Suspect, they all look like I'm just wearing one eyeshadow all over the lid, which is no fun. So I've been loving wearing Busted in the crease because it's like a nice deep crease color, but yeah. So Busted is more like this. It's like this brown. It's just like a purple tone. It looks purple in the pan, but it's more brown. Yeah, it's more of like a cool brown. But yeah, I've been making myself wear this so that I can justify buying the Naked 3 palettes. That's how I live my life. My two lip favorites this month. Um, number one is the Kiehl's Lip Balm. This is just lip balm number one. It's like $8. It's actually fantastic. I don't like the packaging because it's like this squeeze tube. It's like this little clear kind of color. It goes on. It looks really glossy on your lips when you first put it on. But it just like sinks into my lips so well. I love this. It's really moisturizing. It's a great lip balm. And then for lipsticks this month, I've been loving my Dior Addict Extreme Lipstick and Sunset Boulevard. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. It's like this light, this brown toned red, but it's just like so sheer that I call this a neutral lip. Like I'm right now I'm wearing blue, I'm wearing baby blue eyeshadow and red lipstick, which is so 80s gone wrong, but it looks so good. <laughs> 
So this is what it looks like. It's This is my idea of a neutral red, if that makes any sense. It's just a super wearable red lip. So it looks like I've got color on my lip, but I don't have to be touching it up all the time. And it's moisturizing, and I love it. And then my last favorite of the month is my Thierry Mugler Angel Perfume. My mom got me the sample set for Christmas. And I just love the smell of this. I've been wearing this all month. It's just fantastic. I don't know how to describe it. But it's like the kind of scents that I go for. It's like that more like spicy kind of a scent. I'm just going to sit here and smell it all day. So those are my favorites for the month of January. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.